Hey guys, happy Fluid Fridays. Last week I did a pour with mostly cool colors with the exception of that twisted orange color. And so this week I'm gonna go the complete opposite and do um, all warm colors and a little bit of white and black. And I'm really just kind of feeling orange today. So I'm going with a couple of the colors. I rarely do these sort of crafty um, Americana folk art type uh, brands of paint. But last week that twisted orange really uh, really showed up well. Even once dry, it, it really worked out and, uh, and made um, a nice statement. So I'm going to go ahead and try this uh, with a couple of these oranges in this craft type paint and just see how it goes. Uh, I'm also going to be using some white and black, my white and black Liquitex uh, that I have as standbys always for my backgrounds. And also for my third sort of warm color, I'm going to be using that iridescent copper light again from golden and I love that that color so I'm gonna go ahead and just try this out and see how it works on sort of a uh, landscape pour and we'll see how it goes so for my mixture I'm gonna be doing two parts a uh, one part paint one part flow troll and then just a few drops of this PVA uh, book binders glue uh, in the mixture as well and sort of eyeball it depending on the consistency of the paint. The Liquitex is much thicker than this craft paint, so I sometimes add a few drops of water on that just to get everything on an even pouring consistency.
Okay, so initially when I had started this pour, I had wanted to do sort of a, a striping with everything going the same way and plain and simple, I just didn't use enough paint for the pour to make it extend over to the sides and keep everything really straight and level um, and striped on that landscape. So I just kind of went with the flow and went with, with what was uh, working and ended up doing, um, I liked the colors when they came out, so I ended up doing what I call a reverse string pour. Normally when I, a string pull, when I normally when I do a string pull, I pull the pour out into the negative space. And in this case, I was pulling the negative space back into the pour. So I call, for my practices, I call that a reverse sprint string pull, pulling that negative back into the pour. And uh, it had a really cool effect. Um, it's still, I like a lot of negative space in my pores, I don't like um, my pores to be all over. I like that that sort of drama of the negative space happening, and um, I think it, it leaves a lot more to uh, a lot less is more um, with the um, with the pores, and so I like that kind of drama going on with the pore rather than just all over. Your eye kind of doesn't know what's happening. Um, Whereas with a lot of negative space, um, I, to me, it adds more drama to the piece. And so I, I enjoy that. And I'm liking this string pour. I hope it stays. Um, I hope the separation stays within these sort of uh, cells. It's kind of like reeds or something like that growing. And I hope that separation with that black um, stays that way as it dries, so I'm hopeful for that. Uh, we will have to see once it dries, but um, I enjoyed it, even though it's not exactly the way I had planned it out. I sort of, especially always with fluid pores, you just have to kind of go with what's working and continue on. Take a step back, even though you don't have as long to step back as you would in a normal painting because it's going to dry on you. Um, take a few minutes back and just kind of look and think and ponder and uh, and think what can happen here if I did this. If it doesn't work out, you can always pour over it so there's no mistakes. I hope you really enjoyed this week's Fluid Fridays and I hope you join me again soon for more fluid painting. Have a great weekend and happy fluid painting. Thank you.